some resin on the uh, Kevlar uh, and then folded it into uh, between two pieces of plastic and then used a squeegee to push the resin all around until I pushed all the resin out. So all there's right. no resin except what fits between the fibers and the plastic. There's basically no resin on top of the fibers. And then... Now is this how you made those first ones that we yeah. didn't have the dry problem? Yep, I made them all the same. Okay. Uh, and... What kind of plastic is that that you're using? Uh, I just stole some from an old vacuum bag. This was an early vacuum bag, but I've just used polyethylene before. So. Okay. And this one, when we're going to put some plastic on top, in the hopes that it will stop the peel ply and bleeder from stealing the Remaining little bit of resin plastic. that's on the yeah. top and uh, maybe give us a smoother surface finish on the top while still letting the vacuum kind of sneak out, letting the air sneak out uh, the sides. This guy has micro balloons which you can kind of see through it. So the theory here is that we're going to get some bond to the micro balloons that are stuck into the pores and that will stop it from lifting. And this one has full strength epoxy on the right, FSE, and uh, thinned. thinned epoxy, TE. Okay, so we'll put a peel ply on top of there and the bleeder on top of there and vacuum bag it. 